she is feeling that strength of the rump, feeling that strength of the rump. I know, you know. If you want to build confidence up, try this exercise out. I guarantee it will help you out. It will tone your body. It will make you fit better into clothing without making it look baggy. And I know how it feels, guys. Like, I'm very lean myself. It's very hard to put on weight, anything like that at all. So, yeah, these exercises really helped. And these are the clothes that I usually wear when I wake out. They're comfortable. They um, are breathable. When I sweat, they don't soak in all the sweat. And links will be in the down bar below as well and I usually like to wear gloves to use with the weights. When you're doing squats or any sorts of ass exercise make sure you activate your glutes by squeezing them together. For example getting up from a squat you need to squeeze your ass together. This makes it rounder, it lifts it up and it helps to firm it. Yeah. Right guys, so first and foremost, practice your squats. Get your form right, unless you want to be injured, you want to make sure you be doing it right. I'm going to show you how to do a squat. Pretend that you're sitting down to a chair, you can try it by doing it on the chair first. Make sure your feet are shoulder length apart, you're always looking forward, and stick your ass up before you bend your knee. And as you get up, you squeeze your glutes together to get a better workout. As you get up, you're pushing yourself with your heels and you're not using your back to push yourself up. Don't forget to squeeze those glutes! So when you're a little bit more confident with your form and how you're squatting without breaking your back, then you can start using weights because this is when it gets a little bit more harder. Um, I'm using 10 kilograms each arm at the moment. I can squat about 40 kilograms. It's not as big as a lot of people out there, but you know, it's a progress. And you can squat like shoulder length or you can squat your legs a little bit wider to get deeper as well as the sumo squats. One of the many exercises you can do is squat and walk with weight. Now I know how ridiculous this looks. So honestly, it helps a lot. So you're walking and then you're pulsing after each step. And I would usually do about 15 times 3 sets of this and make sure you pause and get a sip of water as well. I'm using a 10 kilogram weight. Ask me what my favorite exercise is and it is this. Make sure you're on a nice hard surface on all fours, shoulder and back is straight and feet are up in the air, toes trying to touch the sky. When your leg is up, squeeze your glutes together nice and tight. This one I'm doing is standing up donkey kicks. Don't use a pillow like I did, not very reliable. Hold on to a chair or even a wall. Deadlifts is my other favorite exercise, the best for glutes and legs. Legs should be shoulder length apart. I have dumbbells with me as well, so that's 20 kilograms altogether. As you're bending down, back is straight and your knees bend slightly as well, where your ass sticks out. Stick your ass out as far as you can and squeeze those glutes together. Go into a squat position and jump into a sumo squat, legs far apart, into a normal squat and then into a ski squat, legs together. So I got this exercise from Michelle Lewin from Instagram and this helps to work your glutes and your thighs. You're doing a squat twice and then you do a deadlift. So make sure you're standing on very stable platforms, not like me here. Uh, make sure you squeeze those glutes and keep your back straight and your balance nice and stable as well. This is one of the weird exercises that people look at you when you do at gym, but honestly, don't worry about other people. Make sure that you're doing your form correctly and you'll be right. I usually do these exercises here on soul. Righty out, time for lunges. Everyone loves a good lunge, right? <laughs> um, yeah, so with this you need a chair or you need something that's higher than your knee and stable as well. You're going to step up on the chair, kick back with one leg, and then when you go down to a lunge, use the other leg. So it's plank dips now. You need to form yourself into a plank, shoulders straight, back straight, don't bend it. You're on your toes, feet together, and you're swaying from side to side. This will really work your core muscles. Make sure you squeeze them in and breathe.
that strength of the rubber.